we'll move on to question number 10 okay uh, k minus 1 okay you can just um, use the calculator in this question I mean yes you can do it for simplification but not for the whole one okay for the whole simplification you can use it for the calculations but not you know with the steps part a find the exact solutions to the given equation for k equals 4.5 we are just gonna replace x power 6 plus 4 x cube plus k minus 4 equals 0 replace k with 4.5 in it and I'll get 4.5 minus 1 will be 3.5 okay x power 6 plus 4x cube min plus k minus 4 it means 4.5 minus 4 will be uh, 0 0.5 okay equals to 0 so here is the equation you have got we have to find the exact solution so what we will do now we have to simplify it uh, we need to remove you know let's try to or let's do the substitution yeah let's do the substitution yeah that would be easier or there is a way can you write 0 0.5 as 1 over 2 and um, 3.5 as 7 over 2 yes you can check um, by the calculator 3.5 will get you 7 over 2 okay now multiply the whole equation by 2 to simplify it so we will get 7x power 6 plus because the 2 gets cancelled here now and 2 times 4 is 8 x cube plus 2 times 1 by 2 will be 1 equals to 2 times 0 will be 0 okay now uh, we, we know that it is x power 6 and x power cube and we can convert it to quadratic like uh, what if i make a substitution of x cube is equals to y if x cube is y then what will be the square of y that will become x power 6 okay we substitute these values here 7 in place of x6 i will write y square plus 8 in place of x cube you write y plus 1 equals to 0 so it's a quadratic in y so we can factorize it 7 times 1 is 7 uh, two numbers that multiplies to get 7 and adds up to 8 is 7 and 1 is 7 okay i'm gonna now write it 7y this bracket 7y because my square coefficient is 7 and um, again 7y and i have got the two factors uh, plus 7 and plus 1 okay now you can keep both of them equals to 0 and the y values will be y equals minus 7 over 7 will be negative 1 and y equals minus 1 over 7 okay now the y value you know um, because we don't need y we substituted by our own so we have to replace it with x now y is x cube so i replace y with x cube is equals to minus 1 and x cube is equals to minus 1 over 7 we only need x we don't need the cube of x so we will cube root on both sides oh that looks so bad i think yeah we will cube root on both sides for both of them it has 7 in the bottom yeah so this cube is gone so x is the cube root of negative 1 will be negative 1 you can check it on the calculator and x is equal to uh, negative 1 will stay the same and 7 will get the cube root over it because the cube root of 1 will stay the same okay so these are the two x values uh, you have got as a solution uh, of the above equation when k value was 4.5 okay that is what three marks question part b find the set of possible values of k for which the given equation has no real roots so this is our equation let me just write it k minus 1 x6 uh, plus 4x cube plus 4x cube um, plus k minus 4 so plus k minus 4 equals to 0 they say you have to find a possible uh, set of values of k for which the equation has no real roots 
you know that when they're talking about no real roots it means the discriminant b square minus 4ac has to be less than 0 okay when the equation has no real roots you put the discriminant less than 0 always so yeah we need to get the a and b and c values so your a is the coefficient of x6 now we don't need to do the conversion here because we are not concerned with x though we can convert it to quadratic but the values of abc will remain unchanged so we are not doing that a will be k minus 1 b will be 4 c is k minus 4 now put the values in it so 4 squared minus 4 times a which is k minus 1 times c which is k minus 4 less than 0 okay now we simplify 4 square will be 16 minus 4 times k minus 1 times k minus 4 will be k times k k square minus k minus 4k minus minus plus 4 okay less than 0 that gives you 16 minus 4 times k square minus 5k plus 4 less than 0 that gives you 16 minus 4k square minus minus plus 20k minus plus minus 16 less than 0 minus 16 plus 16 is gone now from both of them you can take negative 4k common and that gives you k minus 4 times 5 um, okay and that's less than 0 okay so you divide both sides by negative 4 that gives you k bracket k minus 5 less than 0 okay so you can now get the k values here k will be 0 and k will be 5 you know that it is a quadratic if you will expand you will get k square minus 5k less than 0 so this is a quadratic in k which is less than 0 quadratic in k which is less than 0 and the k values are 0 and 5 the x intercepts are 0 and 5 so k is positive so it will be an open up quadratic like that okay passing from the x intercepts i mean the k intercepts which is 0 and 5 now so uh, if you focus this is a quadratic which is less than 0 if a quadratic is less than 0 what k values will satisfy that equation k lying k is negative i mean the quadratic is lying below uh, the quadratic is negative it means it is lying below the x-axis yeah so how will you write that equation now uh, wait let me see i made a mistake here when you will divide by negative 4 the inequality sign will flip over okay so i didn't flip it over here so this is quadratic greater than 0 now okay so this quadratic is greater than 0 so we want the k values for which this quadratic will lie above the x-axis so these are the black these are the black points on the quadratic where it will lie above the x-axis means when it will be positive okay so for all the values of k less than 0 because at this point k less than 0 will give you the quadratic will give you the black portion where the quadratic lies above the x-axis okay and k greater than 5 yeah k greater than 5 will get you these black points so these are the two inequalities which you need for these k values the quadratic will lie above the x-axis or you can combine it like k is less than 0 k is greater than 5 okay yeah for these values of k these values of k for which the equation will have no real roots okay so this was the question 10 let me zoom it out so you can have a look at it this is it okay and that part b was for four marks so here you are okay this is it for today thank you